coral gardening and restoration is emerging as a significant and rapidly growing management measure to help ensure the future of coral reefs. And while this resource is pivotal to the island's ecosystem, local fisheries and marine authorities claim that it is increasingly threatened by climate change and other stressors. It is against this backdrop a National Vocational Qualification NVQ Level 2 in Coral Reef Gardening and Restoration Training was facilitated to augment the practical skills of marine users in order that their activities are conducted in a manner that preserves the integrity of coral habitats. In speaking at the awards ceremony to mark the culmination of the program, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Barrymore Felicier, says the joint initiative of the Department of Fisheries, the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, DVRP, and the TVET unit is seen as an opportunity to bring sector stakeholders together on a common agenda item to ensure the preservation and rehabilitation of marine resources in the face of climate change. The Level 2 certificate serves to complement participants' livelihoods and broadens the, part the participants' understanding of the functions and biology of coral reefs. It will also facilitate future community capacity building where trainees may seek level three training and certification in which they will be able to train other individuals in the area of coral gardening and restoration. So it's important that we build capacity and this project seeks to do that. So in the future, we'll see a module that allows the persons trained to become trainers themselves, which is quite important. But the trainees here today, the nine awardees, it's important for you to continue the work in coral restoration. We know the state of the, the coral island wide. They have been complaints by our visitors when they visit the reefs. And it is our duty to ensure that we conserve, preserve, enhance, restore for the benefit of the future generation. Participants in the NVQ Level 2 training learned coral gardening site selection, the establishment and the management of coral bursaries and gardens, as well as first aid, navigation, and sanitation practices. Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Honorable Pauline Antoine Prosper, believes that implementing educational programs on best practices for coral restoration is critical in combating reef degradation and promoting reef recovery. Nine individuals, inclusive of members from the Department of Fisheries, coastal community residents, and dive tourism practitioners, completed this certificate program. I salute each trainee as you braved not only the content of the course, but the underwater world, well, I'm afraid of there, to gain competence in an area that few even realize impacts their lives. Today, you become the league of certified marine heroes who will battle to keep our coral reefs healthy in order to ensure food security. I have no doubt that you will work assiduously to revitalize and build the resilience of our marine ecosystem and contribute to our economic development. We also encourage you to take advantage of the portability of this qualification by extending your newly acquired competencies to access employment in St. Lucia in other CARICOM territories, in fact, anywhere in the world. With the state of coastal ecosystems affecting livelihoods in St. Lucia, both directly and indirectly, the Agriculture Ministry remains focused on safeguarding St. Lucia's marine ecosystems as part of its broader efforts to ensure the efficient management of St. Lucia's natural resources. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.